Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Resi 4. This is episode 18, last episode we made it through the last of the prisoners and actually got kidnapped again by the Novistadors and loads more. But now we're going to catch up with Salazar and see just what he has to say. Ashley. Leon! <laughs> Mr. Kennedy, don't you know when it's time to throw in the towel? No! Leon! <laughs> hmm, where's the satisfying sound of one's impalement? Don't fall for this old trick. right hand comes off? Hmm. Say whatever you please. Die, you worm! <laughs> it's not good when Salazar gets angry. Nope. Okay, we're gonna have a little look around for stuff. There's plenty of stuff to find down in this little tiny room. But there's something special you don't want to miss. Where's it? Two. Here it is. The crown. You get two gems to put in it. One is completely easy to miss because it gives you an optional sort of boss. And the other one, well, you have to get it pretty much. So, welcome. <laughs> you know, look at him. Because of the bats around, going mad. Anyway, by you, I'll show you actually before. Before you say it. Right, spinals, have a blue, cold, spangle, crown. I want to keep. Anyway, by you, better shotgun coming. And it is the striker. It uses up less room as well, and. I just prefer it by miles. The wide shot, so enables faster firing. It's just good. So what I'm gonna sell that? off the riot gun. Ah. I like the riot gun too. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> I just prefer to keep up to date with guns a little bit more. Is that a At least with a shotgun. It's the last shotgun you can get as well, so it's really nice. Right. Let's actually tidy things up a little bit. Tumble it. Tumble it. Oh my god, I hate it when it's such a mess. <laughs> okay, we'll be using our. We'll finally be using the rocket launcher in a sec too, so that's good. We're gonna upgrade the. Wait, there, where's a. Is it two? Broken butterfly capacity, so it has full ammo again. That's eight. Uh. The striker we obviously need to upgrade. It's a new weapon. If you don't upgrade it, you're gonna be in the shit for a little bit. Thank you. And that's it for now. Come back we'll do, sir. We'll do. This might be a bit of a shorter chapter part. Or, I mean episode for the chapter part. Or I might I might do a little bit more. Yeah, we'll do a bit more than just this chapter now. We'll go a bit further. I know that's again. I know that's against what we've been doing, but I think it might be a good idea. Anyways, more sewage. It's the last bit of sewage we'll see in the game, so that's a good thing for me. I don't like um, that much sewers. There's a hard part too. This is the optional boss I was talking about coming up. Really good. Actually, you don't want to go that way. You don't want to go this way. You want to go against the arrows. They lead to an exit, but you can't go to the exit yet. No, not yet. Did you see where it said, where it said check then? You'll be one to keep, keep an eye out for them. This is one of Salazar's hands, as I said in the cutscene. 
he... It's only one of them, though, so we've still got a bodyguard with him. It's not easy if you try and fight him the normal way, like, just shooting. Elevator's back on. Amazing. Please wait approximately four minutes for the elevator to arrive. So we just gotta survive for a bit. You can just do that if you like. But... I prefer to do things a little bit differently. This is a one-shot kill as long as you hit. If we don't hit, I'll be gutted. But... Yeah. Don't just shoot the rocket at him though. I'm not sure what... I'm not sure if he'll kill him off if we do just... Do that, but... You know, I would recommend doing this first and just making sure it freezes him and he shoots and he's dead. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> it's so much easier. Just. Yeah. Jewel crown. Uh, crown jewel. And now we have a ton more room in our Atachi case once again. Amazing. So let's just move things over a little bit. And get the magnum ammo down here. Ah, uh, that'll do. And the elevator's here as well. Good. It makes this part so much less stressful when you just kill a guy and you get some good stuff out of it. Hmm? Huh? All up to you. I'll go this way first. A couple of items this way. Alright, let's have a little look. TMP ammo. Hmm, might as well take it anyway. And there was a freezy thing over there as well, so if you did miss with that tank, there's a couple of other ones around you. But the thing is, sometimes he can sort of jump up into the air, and he might do it when you're getting the tank down, and it can make things a little bit more awkward. Alright, first aid spray. We did well on that, so even though we did badly on a few other parts lately, we did well at that point, so I'm really happy about that. It seems that Salazar is having difficulty taming the American pig. Salazar had his chance. Krauser, go get the girl. Oh, and uh, dispose of the swine while you're at it. Consider it done. Okay, meet Krauser. He is somebody that Leon knows from before. Not the most lovable of people. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> Alright, okay. Uh, chapter 3, 4 end. I want to keep chapter 3, 3 end just in case I decide to add a bit more to an earlier episode. But for now, like I said, we're carrying on a little bit further. I don't want to do too much, but this is going to be such a short episode if I don't do a little bit, so... Yeah, better add. For this point, we're not actually in the castle. We're sort of under it in the mines. You'll see why. It all makes sense. And, and we're going to do another one of these. Third one out of four. There are actually five places you can do it, I think. I'm pretty sure. But anyway. Welcome. Doesn't matter how many there are. All we need to know is that we're doing them. If we do the fifth one, I don't think you get anything for it. Type C. got the castle in the background if you shoot Salazar laughs if you shoot the castle <laughs> oh Ashley's right in the way there we go and then when you get to game D it gets even harder with Ashley's Ugh. we'll get the Salazar there we go 500 points just for hitting a Salazar. It's amazing. I do like to slow it down a bit to watch my ammo. But that's me. Four! Four in one go! Bloody hell, I'm sure three is the highest I've ever had. That's amazing. Okay, we're going to do the second form of this uh, game C now. Hopefully we'll still be fine. No, not eight. Sorry. Try again. 
Not not B either. Oh my dear crapping god. What's going on here? Yeah. Ah, not 50. Come on, 50. No point getting 50 points. Oh, look at the distance on it. <laughs> so far. Something's telling me, some sort of intuition, that we'll have to do this twice. Not yet, we're doing okay ish. Yeah. Oh, start stressing that a bit. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, two. Come on, two. Two. Yes. Oh, thank God. They do get a bit tedious when you have to do it over and over and over again. Two bottle caps and third row complete, 35,000 pesetas. Let's check out the bottle caps then. I do like to check them out. Merchant. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, we're moving on to the zealots now, I suppose. I never call them that though, I always still call them Ganados. I don't know why. Are you a star? Don Pedro. Okay, here we go then. We got our money. Come here, you. Welcome. Let's see what you got for us in chapter four, too. Got some rare. What are you Sell selling? some shit. TMP ammo. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Ten thousand pesetas for a mixture. That's quite a good amount. <laughs> Thank you. I'll do. What are you buying? Anything by you? Any first aid space? I think we've got quite a few healing items now, so... What are you buying? Riot gun... No, if we did keep the riot gun... <laughs> might have been handy, actually. If we wanted up upgrades, anyway. Come nope, we're not buying anything. Time. The next part, now then, the mine. It's not... easy. I find it one of the tougher parts of... Well, I s Yeah, I suppose one of the tougher parts. We're back to the Ganados, in this sort of mine outside of the castle area, but still in the castle. Yeah. We don't see these regular Ganados, villager Gal Ganados for much longer though, at all. So there's that. If you check in by ya, it's a nice velvet blue. Easy to miss. There's a vacuum cleaner going around the house. Maybe. <laughs> Might be here soon. Check out this sign by yeah. Caution! Overloading dynamite on trolley will trip circuit breaker. Maybe we should do that. <laughs> Might be fun. Oh god, I'm gonna have to stop a sec. I won't be long. Okay, we are back. The vacuum cleaner has gone. <laughs> a dreaded vacuum. Okay, just you're an enemy. This little area, it does have some enemies, but it's not all about the enemies. It's got a little bit of a puzzle element to it as well. Sort of. Not much of a puzzle, but it's there. Oh, crap. Yeah, come here. Come here, dynamite man. Yeah, that'll do it. Hey, <laughs> handy as hell. Oh, shit, he's still alive. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Okay, we'll use a flash grenade. We've got a million of these things anyway. This sort of stuff. Come over by ya. Yeah. Things go wrong. <laughs> That's what it does. We cannot do it all the way yet. We have to go through the enemies to the breaker. Like I said on the sign earlier, it might, it might break things. So. I mean, I... Here we go. Let's just get the handgun out for these enemies. They're the toughest enemies in the world, so... I like to use my worst ammo for it. My worst weapon. Oh, another one. Hey, hey. I'll wait for that to blow up before going past the thing. Might be sensible. 
Anyway, Rumble here. There's a bit more money. Up here, I mean. No, no, no. Oh, no, it's ammo. Okay. Whichever. Still worth going up there, anyway. It might be risky doing this. Look at our health. Yeah, definitely risky. Get our max health up a bit. It's good to do that as soon as you can, alien. You can see why. There'll be a very specific enemy coming along now, is there? Is there? No. Gets a little bit tense. Come on, then. This is the breaker thing. Just turn it back on. Now we need to go and press the switch again. Oh, I should have made him just throw it. Come on, then. Let's get close to him. Oh, no. No, no. Wouldn't it be funny if you stuck a dynamite in your mouth or something? That would be quite disturbing, actually. There we go. I'm not very good at throwing the dynamite unless it's been thrown. I'm shooting the dynamite unless it's been thrown. I seem to have problems doing that. Anyway, here we go. Chainsaw Magini. Uh, Ganados. Oh my god. I got Magini on the mind. He's behind us. <laughs> Check. These plagas and the rocks appear to be fossilized. Just how old are these things? Who is he too? There he is. There you are. Who's a good boy? Right. I think incendiary grenades will be a shout since we have so many of them. Oh crap! How did he burn? Get our new shot yet work? Really fast firing as you can see. 10,000 satyrs for killing it, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. You probably know this is a couple of enemies on the other side of this boulder over here as well. I think... Yeah, let's get rid of them now before they cause much more of a problem. Because it can be a bit of a bloody problem. Let's do what we were trying to do all along. Pull lever? Ah, good. This one time I killed myself using the dynamite. That was... <laughs> that was really stupid. <laughs> but, you know, it happens in games, don't it? You do the stupidest things. Dynamite. Very nice. I love the sound it makes when you pick up a key item. Sounds so foreboding. Right, move out of the way. You don't have to do anything to activate the dynamite. You don't have to shoot it or anything. There we go. That can't kill you, that explosion. Probably shouldn't be a surprise. Okay. Let's go through. Boss coming. Sort of. Sort of. There's some very unique stuff going on in this room, so... Uh, oh. Shotgun. I don't know. There's a couple of ways you can go about it. This thing is important. That switch by there causes the middle of the floor to open up. Is a good strategy to have for this part. First aid spray. Flashy. Okay, that should do it. Oh. The last of the El Gigante of the game. Yes, and we're taking on two of them at once. Ah, just one of them then. <laughs> I've never been able to catch two of them. Shit. What? Oh, I thought I died. I've never been able to catch two of them in one go. And you can't do it for the other one, so... Anyway, don't go near the centre now, or, or he can drag you in. He can pull you in. Okay, what I'm going to do... I think Magnum actually might be a good idea for you. I changed my mind. If I have a bit of trouble with it on the first go with the switch, you might need to use the ladder over there and go up and there's a zip line going down to it so that the Gigante will try and follow you over and end up going into the lava. 
Oh, it's shut. There we go. Once it's shut again, you can walk over it and go near it. Whatever you're trying to do. Oh, Magnum isn't super powerful at this point. It gets more powerful as you upgrade it, obviously, but we, have, we can't upgrade the firepower that much yet. You know. It's, I like how it's a new design for the Algrante this time, too. As in, they don't keep it the same skin every time, they actually change it up a bit. Shut! Ah, oh, it's gonna shoot him on the arse. What a twat. How selfish of him. Oh, oh, good. God. Oh, God, life! I couldn't even get up in time, man. Okay. Uh, yep. I know, I'm using a lot of heal items, it's surprising even me. Oh, he can't grab her and pick her up just like the first one did. We seem to be doing all right in that sense. Magnum back on. Oh, we need to reload. It's not the quickest against to reload either. No. There we go. It went okay. Yes, is that it? Yeah, he's coming down again. You can shoot the plagas if you want, but I like to knife it and save a bit of ammo, even if it does take a bit longer. There we go. Is that it? Yeah, no, bollocks. I was hoping it would be. Ah, oh, I did move in time. Yeah! <laughs> that should be the last time though, but you gotta be careful once you kill him, because once he's dead, it's a nice little cutie to take care of. Can be dangerous. There we go. I'm gonna chuck on the handgun. No, let's reload the shotgun a sec. How much money? 15,000. Really good, actually. See, he's a hell of a boss, isn't he? Or mini boss, or. Really, however you want to look at it. Something good, please. Incendiary grenades, shotgun shells. I'm not a fan of the incendiary grenades that much because. They're just not as good as the flash grenades or the regular grenades, hand grenades. Okay, the last of the Navista doors by you. If you haven't finished off the butterfly lamps yet, this is your last chance to do so. It's all based on luck, I know, but... Uh, shotgun back out. The two lights shall shine light on a new path. Yeah, we gotta find two switches around this path. I like to kill as many of the enemies as I can, get a few gems and stuff as well. It makes sense to do so for me. Okay, we're the enemies too. I know they're probably chasing me by this point. Yeah. Thank God for the fast shots of the striker. Well, oh, that might have been a bit tougher than it, actually, than it was then. Um, still late? Okay. What? My head! <laughs> My head! <laughs> okay, this time I decided to heal up before heading in. <laughs> oh, the bad button. So, yeah, we'll kill off one or two of them before they actually get ya. I think it'll be a shout. Might lose out on treasure and stuff. But I think it'll be a worthwhile loss. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. We've got plenty more of them to kill anyway, so why not? I like to go this way first, because down in this cave is the first of the two switches. Makes sense to me. Like I said, two lights to guide the one path, or something like that. One done. But before we can get out here, we got a few of these incoming. Come on, you. 
could chuck an incendiary grenade there and sort of block off the entrance so they can't get in, they get hurt when they try to. Could be a good shout. Blue eye, nice. Do you like the blue eyes to sell? Anyway, let's keep going around. But yeah, there are a couple of different paths you can take through this place. They all lead to the same places. Oh shit, where'd he come from? Okay, let's heal up. Yeah, get off you little shit. Oh, that was cool. Still alive. Bloody hell, he's got some health. Oh shit. I normally go into each of the caves and kill them off there, but they're not letting me get there this time. I don't know if it's because of trolls, there's more of them or what, but I'm having issues. Did I even hit him? That did not hit him in the scene thing. Oh, okay. Oh god. I'm stressed. <laughs> this game stresses me out. It's normally one of my comfort games, surprisingly, but going through pro, I just don't like it. I I don't like harder difficulties in games in general. I know some people do. I know some people like the challenge. I'm not one of them. Blue eye, good. This time I'm going to go off for the strategy I mentioned earlier. Try it out, then. That's a second light. So now, the door will open. Come on now. There we go. It burns a whole Silent Hill style. Make, giving you rusty bars behind. <laughs> Come on, enemies. You're bound to be there. Maybe there won't be as many, because we already killed some of them, do you reckon? Like, maybe that's what was happening. No, here they come. Oh my god, look at them all. Another blue eye, we're getting tons of money and things to sell. I was, yeah, <laughs> my heart stopped, I think. Okay, let's get rid of these guys over there. Oh, damn it. One. Okay. Look how fast we are reloading that, that rifle now. It's got good. It's got really good. Anyway, that's the last of the Navista doors of the game. Look at that floating up there. What a shit. <laughs> We're not getting that. Can we? Can we walk under it and get it? Nope. Nah, let's get in. Makes me wish I had a, a, um, a vacuum cleaner like in Luigi's Mansion. There's a switch. Of course we can have Professor hit. Why wouldn't you? Okay, this is dangerous, this part. I always get so gutted when I die to this. Because you can get crushed underneath, as you can expect. It's a one-hit kill. Oh, look at that. Right, you need to pull this lever, or you're not getting through. They're dying. I wonder if you can rush through at the very last split second and get it perfect. Maybe you can make it through. I don't know. Gotta stop in the middle by you, and that's what I find hard. Oof. There, made it. Bloody hell. And we have made it through that whole sort of underground mine part. And what we got by here, before going up, you get the other crown jewel, the Royal Insignia, so I'm going to make that now. Whatever not. Oop, didn't mean to do that. And there we have it, sells our family crown. It sells for quite a lot too. Complete crown with all the jewels and insignia set in it. It's really nice. Never, You never see Salazar wearing it, strangely, but... There we go, the end of chapter 4-2. Oh, we have got... Actually, I think there might be two more chapter parts, am I right? One for all the outsidey bits, and then one for when you get back in the castle. I don't know. 
I don't know. But look how we're doing. I'm doing shit. 28 deaths. That's just... <laughs> it's just bad. Anyways. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we go for chapter 4-3. And we check out... More sort of miney stuff. But it's good. There's a lot of good traps and stuff going on in this next chapter part. So, see you again in a bit, folks.